any parting thoughts for our folks watching specifically like, you know, let's say the individual retail investor audience who's watching any parting thoughts for them advice. So, um, I have some prior work experience in the wealth management space. And then I did about two years on the commercial banking side. And I think one of the main things that I learned um, and one of the perspectives that I gained during kind of my professional experience is that people under the age of 45 should generally be a net buyer of assets in order to um, just basically grow our nest egg, grow our wealth and basically kind of secure our retirement. And so, um, for people who have earnings power, like whether that's $50 a month or $5,000 a month or $20,000 a month, like I think people should generally be dollar cost averaging into the markets. Where they fall on the risk spectrum is up to them and their kind of um, basically like their own risk tolerance. But from my perspective, like things right now are just unequivocally on sale. When you have companies like Google that were down more than 30%, off their 52 week highs that happened earlier this year, or Amazon was down more than 45%. Like these are phenomenal companies that are just continuing to grow at a rapid pace, but have been severely repriced because of the rise in yields. Yields aren't going to stay high forever. They're eventually going to come back down. We don't know how long that's going to be. And so I think generally speaking, when you have the opportunity to buy great companies or great assets that you have long-term conviction in, you comment, you have to be willing to stomach some of the short-term volatility that we have in the market right now. So this was something that I was also saying to family and friends in March and April of 2020. I thought the market was going to go lower than the March 23rd lows, but I was still allocating to risk assets in that environment. So it, it's okay to simultaneously be increasing your exposure to risk assets while also thinking risk assets might be going lower. We also don't know what we don't know. So risk assets could have bottomed and we don't want to miss the boat. So we, again, we have to just kind of humble ourselves in terms of recognizing that the market is way smarter than we are, no matter how smart we may think we are. And I think, like I said, if you're basically under the age of 45, you should generally be increasing your exposure um, to assets over time.